if you watch this program, you know that the Mavi Marmara was the Turkish ship that was the largest in the Gaza Freedom Flotilla, attacked and boarded by Israel. May 31st, nine dead, two still gravely injured, over a million in property seized or stolen. Story singer Dave Rovix has put the sad tale to music. 48, they were driven out at the point of a machine gun. Families fled in fear to Jordan, Syria, and Lebanon. They fled around the globe. Firmly held in terrorist grip And about a million refugees Ended up in the Gaza Strip 1967 The IDF moved in And the refugees in Gaza Became refugees again Settlers took their farmland Soldiers took the ports And the people were surrounded By military forts In 2007 They cut it off completely no access to the borders, no access to the sea. The world began to see this unavoidable stamp. The most crowded place on earth was now a concentration camp. Israeli jet fighters bombed Gaza from the air, and they kept out the supplies needed to rebuild and repair. They kept out the convoys of humanitarian aid Anemic children going hungry Crushed and burned in bombing raids from around the world Good people tried to get across the border To the other side Almost all of them were turned away Deported back to Turkey, Jordan, France, the USA They were barred from ever coming back Adam and Hueda decided on a different tack. They loaded up a boat and managed to get through. That's when activists in Istanbul decided what to do. Armed with food and wheelchairs and prosthetic limbs for victims of the bombing raids to wear. They packed cement by the ton. They had a few kitchen knives, but not a single gun. They were determined to reach the bay, to break the siege of Gaza and not be turned away. As they left Turkish waters, everybody wished them well. As for what would happen, only the apartheid state could tell. All aboard the Mavi Marmara, sailing toward Goliath's kingdom, armed with nothing but a stone. All aboard the Mavi Marmara, Tell the children of Jerusalem, you are not alone. 700 people on board this Turkish ferry. They were 60 miles from the shore, out in the open sea. In international waters, with no plans for turning back. That's when Netanyahu told his soldiers to attack. They came down from helicopters, fired guns from Zodiacs. They shot some people in their heads and shot others in their backs. The captain raised a white flag high into the air. The soldiers kept on shooting beneath the floodlights glare. The soldiers kept on shooting. It was a free fire zone. So many dead and wounded, just how many is known. So many dead and wounded, blood flowing on the floor. The soldiers kept on shooting 60 miles from the shore. Medics tried to treat the wounded. All they could do was watch them bleed. The soldiers wouldn't let them get the urgent help they needed. Mass troopers held their hostages. The Navy towed the ship just for trying to sail to the little Gaza Strip. All aboard the Mavi Marmara Sailing toward Goliath's kingdom Armed with nothing but a stone All aboard the Mavi Marmara Tell the children of Jerusalem You are not alone
every laptop, every camera and cell phone. This is what Goliath does to those who dare to throw a stone. The ghost of the Exodus is shouting at the sky, but Netanyahu isn't listening. He's just watching people die. For days nobody knew just what happened on that boat, because everyone was held in jail and dead men do not float. All the world will remember what happened on that night, and to end the siege of Gaza, more will go and join the fight. aboard the Rachel Corey, sailing toward Goliath's kingdom, armed with nothing but a stone. All aboard the Rachel Corey, tell the children of Jerusalem, you are not alone. All aboard the Mavi Marmada, sailing toward Goliath's kingdom, armed with nothing but a stone. All aboard the Mavi Marmada, Tell the children of Jerusalem, you are not alone. If you recall all the Israeli excuses for the attack on the flotilla, the claim was made was that the flotilla was unnecessary. All the supplies would have gotten to Gaza if they had just been shipped to Israel first. A lie. After three months of the materials that were put on those ships, only the medicines and things like wheelchairs have made it into Gaza. The bulk of the supplies, building materials desperately needed, still sits in Israel, as does all of the personal money of the people on the ships and almost all of their electronics. That's our program for today. See you next week at this time. I'm Stanley Heller, and this is The Struggle.